Insects are one of the oldest living creatures on the earth and have been existing for more than many centuries. But some of their appearances making it hard to believe that they are creatures on earth. Hi, welcome to the weird side. Today's video will be taking a closer look at those five unique and terrifying creatures on earth. Tree hoppers. These little insects are in a whole different category of bizarre. Although many varieties can be found across the globe, close to 2000 species. These little insects have a fascinating tree-like structure atop its head. Many biologists who saw the insect model for the first time, can't believe it was a real insect. Till now. Scientists cannot fully understand the true purpose of the antennas on their heads. Only know that they can scare away their enemy, and have an unknown sensory function. These tree hoppers look like a modern art invention, makes with some nightmare causing elements. Assassin bug. This kind of worms is called assassins, because they are born killers. Imagine a bug so terrifying that it drinks the insides of insects and animals, and able to paralyze a victim in under a few seconds, and can camouflage itself using the remains of other insects and animals which it's previously eaten. Such a bug does exist and that would be the assassin bug. And it does a lot to live up to its name. The assassin bug is really a nightmare and it's even responsible for the 8,000 human victims that die every single year, related to assassin bug attacks on humans. We humans won't die directly from a bite, but the assassin bug is considered a disease vector species. Meaning that while the painful bite won't kill us, it's very likely that their bites will transmit deadly diseases to you that will kill you eventually. They have strong mouth parts that can pierce their prey instantly and inject toxins. Paralyze the prey in just a few seconds, just like the assassin bug in the video. In a short time, it sucks the big fat bugs dry and flat. Commonly known as the house centipede. It is very likely you have run across them before and been frightened by this insect. They are slender insects with what appears to be hundreds of long, thin, legs bursting from all around their bodies. These insects move fast when spotted, searching for a safe place, and run across the walls and under furniture in a very fast movement. The first thing when you see them is to just relax. The only way the house centipede is dangerous is if you happen to be another insect such as a bed bug, cockroach, spider, termite, or other pests. In fact, there are beneficial insects that can help get rid of other pests in your house. But because of its scary appearance, I don't think anyone wants to keep them inside their house, even though they can help you to clean your house for free. Goliath Beetle Goliath beetles are one of the largest insects in the world, both as adults and larvae. Some people treat these giant beetles as pets even feed them dog food. They are also very strong, able to lift an object around 850 times heavier than their own weight. These amazing creatures can be found in the tropical and subtropical regions of Africa. They prefer a warm climate and live in dense rainforests. These giant beetles eat different types of plant, fruit and remains of dead animals. These beetles are an important part of the food chain in the ecosystem because they eliminate decaying matter of plant and animal body. Hickory Horn Devil Caterpillars These devil caterpillars look fierce and can be almost as big as a hot dog, but they're actually harmless. They have green bodies and lots of orangey horn-like structures on their heads. They're so big and fierce looking that even chickens have been known to stay away from them. The thorns all over his body and the red spikes on his head are just bluffing their enemy and not dangerous. This caterpillar is the larva of the emperor moth. When the emperor moth grows up, the wings can spread up to 10 centimeters wide. When the emperor moth came out of its cocoon, many of them died because they were unable to break through their cocoons due to the narrow opening of the cocoons. But in fact, the process of breaking the cocoon will help the blood to flow into their wings so that the wings can function properly. If someone cuts the cocoon and wants to help them to come out, 
The blood will not able to flow into the wing, resulting in not able to fly forever. Hi, thanks for watching. The Weird Side is a channel that discovers unique creatures that not many people are aware of. If you like this type of content, please consider subscribing and hit the like button. Thanks for watching again. See you in the next video.